afternoon folks, uh, today it's pissing it down, crappy Saturday afternoon so I may as well do a bit of a vid, HW95, uh, 198, they're practically identical, except for one costume, um, going to do a complete takedown, I'm not going to use any specialist tools because I know a lot of people don't have specialist tools, and I'm just going to fly through it, every nut and bolt off, and uh, tell you probably the simplest way of doing it. Some folks may disagree, but here's what it is. Okay, uh, I'm presuming you, you, you've got the stock off, and you, you know, set the uh, side stock mounts and the rear guard. I suggest when you take the trigger guard off and you take this little bolt out of here uh, that pesky little son of a bitch there has a habit of falling out so you have to buy a new one so I'll take the trigger guard out and replace the bolt into that hex nut in there so first things first I've got a simple block of wood here it's a bit easier for me to do it on a bench than putting it in a vice at the moment. Um, now I tend to knock the pins out from the left hand side of the gun to the right. So first job, a couple of light tacks to get it moving. Trust me, they're not usually that tight. Now when you take your back pin out, but I've put your finger over the safety catch so I've got my other finger over the catch just to stop that pinging out and then if it does there's a good chance you'll lose your spring so that's the trigger out now at this point I suggest you cock the trigger because it's going to make it easier for the rebuild so we've got trigger out safety catch, safety spring. Uh, next job, now I've already done a bit of a video on this in the past. Stupid little blocks in the side. Just got myself an Allen key and I'm going to put it up against the side of the block like so. Tap it. and I do usually use a vice, I do apologise, it's easier they should 9 out of 10 times ping out, now once they're out you can either chuck them in a bin or save them for the rebuild, now that you've got that side out dead simple pop the other side out Make sure your punches are nice and flat, I'm not getting a zoom on that, or concave, uh, your gunsmith punches will give you a choice. At this point, now, I'm going to turn the gun round, and on the right hand side of the gun will be your barrel nut, not the bolt, the nut. This really is the only time I'm saying use specialist tools. It's a parallel sided wide screwdriver end. Because the last thing we want to do is take a trip up the cylinder or down the receiver as we're undoing this. So this is your nut. It shouldn't be that tight because it is in effect just a lock nut. And behind your lock nut There's a circlet or a washer. And try not to lose that. Okay, now then, at this point, this is what a lot of people will disagree with, but um, I do a lot of coatings here, so 
I have to take a lot of these out. This is your link arm pin. This is a round tipped punch. This is a bigger hammer. You should with a good belt be able to get that out. Now that will leave you signs of which way out it's come because it's it's crushed over both sides after they've put it in. So you'll now know that the shiny side is the way to put that back in. Now at this point you cock your arm camera do 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 and your shoe will just come out. Let's go back out and zoom. Like I say, I do a lot of coating, so that has to come out when I'm doing the coating. Steve Pope, I believe, was making pins for here that were removable with little circlips on or count for some gallon screws. Now, at this point, we've only removed the bowl nut. I'm just going to break the gun. Not as in, you know, smash it up, uh, just break it. At which point you'll find the tensions come away from your barrel bolt, which once again has a split washer in it. This is a different washer, this will be a flat split washer, and there's the other one was wire round. Carefully slide your barrel forward and you'll see your shim washers. Two shim washers. They usually fall on the floor and you swear and kick the cat or something. Turn that round now. So your spring's still under compression. You have a little Peg in here. Okay, let's get you a bit of a view on that. I'm going to pop that in there. Soft yours in the vise. And just turn it. At which point you shouldn't have a shitload of preload on that. My thumb really should be enough. I'm just going to stick my hand on it very lightly and take it out. So from factory, really, that should be all the preload that you've got. When you're rebuilding that, a piece of wood um, or a piece of plastic, push it back in slightly over, like so. Punch back in and turn that lug back in to locate it. And then, that's the important bit, you'll not get your trigger in, just line that up. Okay, hand, click, push that. Don't lose that. You can now... Remove the piston and spring. There goes the loose guide. It just fell on the floor. It's too loose. The spring ends, they're not bad. They're a lot better than other manufacturers come up with. They could just do with a, with a burnish off and a polish. This one's been uh, obviously a bit low power once they've done the spring lock. So they shoved half the fourth bridge in the end of it to bring it back up. And then your lovely greasy sleeved piston. Now, if you want to spend the next uh, three years 
polishing this up immaculately then feel free if you have nothing else to do and let's face it with Covid you might not have anything else to do uh, but basically these pistons I'm going to give you I'll mark that up 25.65 mil we move to the skirt 25.72 mil so they're actually not parallel sided so the end here or the skirt that will contact the cylinder as you fire so that's going to shoot down the cylinder yeah it's going to waggle around a little bit and it's going to contact the cylinder eventually this will get scratched and there's your metal to metal noises um, hence the reasons why tuners either button them or, or machine them out and pop a delving band around them but what we, what we have to do first is usually do a lathe pass so that they are parallel sided or we end up with ridiculously thin delving bands here that don't last long or they pop out or disintegrate anyway so I'm not going to tell you how to put it back together because I can't be asked. but I hope you found that useful there's nothing in there really that you can break uh, there's nothing to be afraid of I think that was uh, it's a minute a minute to take them to bits um, just be careful not to scratch them I'm going to go and get pissed now so have a wonderful Saturday evening and an even more wonderful Sunday guys